Hello! I'm the... <laughs> you can't do that. Oh, that's all. I'm sorry, crying. Okay. <clears throat> to me, myself, and I, Taylor, what a beautiful bride you are today. <laughs> Robin and I cannot be prouder of what you have accomplished and become. You have a strong desire to be great in everything you do. You are a great daughter, sister, friend, and now wife for a year. <laughs> we love you and cannot wait to see the success and happiness the future holds for you. It is truly a special day as we join together to celebrate the marriage of Taylor Olson and Austin Free, an event 663 days in the making, <laughs> but worth the wait. I especially want to welcome everyone to Park City. Over the past decade, our family has celebrated many big moments here. It's where my wife Jacqueline and I were married, where our older sister Devin was engaged, and it's where Austin nearly beat Taylor at golf that one time. <laughs> When Austin and Taylor first came together, I am sure we all asked the same question. Could this be the one? We all knew up until this point that Taylor had survived on a diet of chicken fingers and turkey sandwiches. So with Austin's poultry allergy, it seemed like an uphill battle. <laughs> we watched as your relationship grew, as you spent more time together, moved across the country, moved across the country again, and added a furry, rambunctious third member to your family, who I'm starting to like a little better. <laughs> we all knew how great you were individually, but over the years we have seen that together, you are truly amazing. I mean, your love even conquered Austin's chicken allergy. It's been said that time is our most precious commodity. Ultimately, we all have a finite amount of time in this world, and no amount of money or even Peloton arm toning workouts can change that. The people who we choose to spend time with directly impact the trajectory of our lives, how we feel, what we accomplish, and how much we enjoy it. Viewed with this lens, the full weight and significance of the decision to marry again becomes apparent. Taylor and Austin, from this moment forward, you will never be alone. You will carry with you the love of another person. May your life together be immersed in love and excitement. May you strive to enrich each other in every possible way. And may you work to bring the peace you find to this world. Let us bow our heads in prayer. Lord, we thank you for gathering everyone here today. We ask that you help Taylor and Austin remember the unconditional love that they have for each other throughout their marriage. May their love always inspire them to be kind in their words, considerate of the other's feelings, and concerned for the other's needs and wishes. Bless this marriage with peace and happiness for all eternity. Amen.
So uh, last night, uh, Steve said, are you going to give any advice to the kids at the at your speech? And I said, no, nah, they got it all figured out. We're not going to do anything. But then he got such grave reviews and um, a lot of claps and stuff. And it was like, that was like the best part of the speech. So I said, I wrote an amendment because there was only seven toasts before and now there's eight. So on the eight one, eighth one, it says, for the last time, let's raise our glass for Taylor and Ozzy. Enjoy your life together. Stay supportive of each other. Always love one another and continue to find joy and happiness in everything you do. So here's to a world of happiness and success for Taylor and Ozzy. Here's them. Consider the list of accomplishments that Ozzy and Taylor have done in the last 18 to 20 months. I have a list. They uh, got engaged on Lake Como. They quit a job. They got a huge promotion. They planned a wedding. Survived a pandemic. Moved to Orange County. Got and raised a dog. Planned a smaller wedding. Bought a house. Moved to Austin. Got married. Destroyed a house. Put a house back together started a business, planned another wedding, and finally got married here today, thank God. Uh, the most, best thing I've accomplished in the last 18 months is buying myself a real pair of pants to wear to work again. Yeah. Nancy, Steve, thank you so much for raising the most wonderful, caring, sympathetic, lovely guy I could meet. Julie, and actually Danny, I'm going to include you on this one. Thank you for calling Austin out on all of his bullshit. Because without that, Taylor would not have found her perfect partner in life. Somebody that challenges her, somebody that balances her, and somebody that compliments her so well. 